Hey everyone, it's Todd at Guild Games. I have a quick update about Unity in general. Recently, Unity put out a, uh, a notification for everybody, all the developers, that a uh, security risk was found by some independent researcher. They say that uh, no security breaches have been reported, but they're preemptively uh, patching this and basically forcing everybody to put out new builds using a patched version of Unity as soon as possible. And the, the problem with that is, um, especially in Unity 6, which uh, Shrouded Aspect was written in and built with, um, Unity 6, I've tried, they've put out 6.1, 6.2, many other, you know, updates to each one of those versions. And I've had so many problems with Unity 6. Point, anything later than 6.043, I think it is. Um, I've gone up to you know a later version of 6.0. I've gone up to 6.1. I've gone up to 6.2, and every one of those versions has some kind of random random technical problems that I've run into with textures not loading right, meshes exploding randomly into you know weird shapes. So I've always had to revert back to the the, the latest version that I knew um, didn't have those issues. It still has some other issues, but at least they're you know not like game breaking things. Uh, these other issues are game breaking things where textures don't load so you, all you see is a magenta square or a color instead of the texture. Um, like I said, the meshes uh, sometimes will just randomly just be a big ball of garbage. And there's other issues, um, but those are the main ones. So now I'm forced to do an update because of this security thing. So I decided to jump right up to uh, 6.2 again, hoping that maybe in the last several months, um, last couple of months since Shrouded Aspect has come out, that they fixed most of those issues. Well, right off the bat, the first build that I made, uh, magenta textures, missing textures. I didn't see uh, the mesh problem, um, but it's just, I'm so disappointed in Unity lately. They, they really, with Unity 6, they preached about stability and reliability, and it's been anything but that. Uh, so uh, right now I'm just, I'm reporting bugs that I find and just kind of biding my time now with uh, Steam games like Shrouded Aspect and Rising Star 2, and Rising Star 2 goes back to Unity 2020, so it, I think that one's gonna be okay. Um, but the Steam games, I don't think Steam is forcing developers to update their games, but I did get email from Google about my mobile games saying that they need to be updated because of this. And, and I have Stranded Without a Phone, Word Wager, and uh, another app that's not really a game, but it's a kind of a piano training tool called uh, Piano Flash. So, and you know, and I've been a lot less interested in working on mobile games lately, be, partly because of, um, you know, whether it's Google, Apple, uh, Facebook, you know, some third party SDK always requiring some update, the need to support the latest, you know, mobile. Uh, operating system whatever it's a pain in the butt because every time you open those projects back up and you try to make a build there's always something that just doesn't work and you spend you know I spend days troubleshooting for projects that I don't really even want to support anymore because it, there's hardly anybody playing those games I really want to focus on the uh, the computer games on Steam so anyway I'm, I've been working on an update for Rising Star 2, which still should come out as planned because, like I said, Unity 2020 probably isn't as affected by the all of the, the new bugs that are in Unity 6. Um, but I want to do an update for Shrouded Aspect, but I'm, but I'm uh, really nervous about putting one out on, this, on these new versions that have known bugs that I've seen. So... I'm just going to keep on um, play testing, see what I can find, keep on reporting bugs to Unity. Hopefully they can fix things sooner than later. Usually it takes some 
like at least a month between you know fixing it going through their approval process reviews everything and making it into a build that gets available for you uh, for developers to use so i i don't really know i really wanted to put out a um a shrouded aspect update sooner than later um, based on some uh, player feedback but i think that's going to have to wait and you know as long as steam is not forcing developers to put things out which i think would be bad anyway because of things like this we're just going to have a lot more unstable games out there because of this kind of thing happening so anyway thanks for watching and thanks for being patient and stay tuned for any updates